Well, joining us via Skype from Los Angeles to discuss the implications of this case is Sarah T. Roberts. She's an assistant professor at the Department of Information Studies at UCLA. Thanks so much for being with us on the programme. I have to say, you do wonder how on earth she thought it was appropriate to post such a picture online. But, of course, she's not alone in doing things like that. Well, uh, I think the temptation is very great for people who carry with them powerful cameras and high-definition video recorders known as uh, mobile phones uh, in everywhere they go in daily life to make these kinds of uh, poor judgments. And uh, we find ourselves in, in quite a conundrum at this point with the ease of pointing, clicking, and sharing uh, provocative and, and offensive images on a daily basis. She's actually facing criminal charges, but legally, how difficult is it to, to work out where the line is about invasion of privacy when we all carry these phones around with us? Well, I think uh, some of this remains to be adjudicated, but certainly uh, people who are in private property, such as a, a fitness gym, have a reasonable expectation to assume that they are not being recorded or photographed while showering. It's quite a different situation from being, say, at a public park, at a rally or some kind of event in a, in a public area where you don't share that same uh, notion of, of having an expectation of privacy as, as one would in a gym locker room. Would it be fair to say that the social media platforms, and they are getting more and more, of course, and are incredibly popular among young people, have they increased uh, the, the number of incidents where privacy has been invaded and where just inappropriate images are being posted and seen publicly? Well, I think it's absolutely fair to say that. Uh, certainly, everyone having uh, smartphones with these capacities to take high-definition video and, and endless images is part of the equation. But the other part, of course, is the prevalence of social media platforms that actually, as their raison d'etre, ask for people to create so-called content and upload it. For a person like Miss Mathers, the model in question, who has a, a brand around her identity, creating material that will interest followers is something that she considers on a daily basis. So it's no surprise that people are pushing the envelope here on what is acceptable in order to, frankly, get attention. Do you think we, as a race, though, as, as, the, as human beings, have we decided that... Uh, invasion of privacy is much more acceptable now. Are we happier to see these sort of images, maybe not as inappropriate as that one, but images that are um, uh, that some people might find offensive? Are we happier to have them sort of traded around publicly? We've got used to that idea. Well, on the one hand, we have people who are challenging power systems by doing things like filming police engaging in behavior uh, that many of us take issue with. And that's one way that these uh, th the ability to film and disseminate this information has maybe provided a social benefit or a social good. But on the other hand, I think it's safe to say that neither you nor I nor anyone listening here likes the idea of being in a changing room or in the shower at a gym and thinking that somebody is not only criticizing our body, but sharing it, sharing that criticism with their so-called followers. It's, it's disturbing. I hope that's not where we've uh, gone to as a, as a society. Dr. Sarah T. Roberts, really interesting to talk to you about that. Thanks so much. Thank you.